Hey, what's up, YouTubers, and welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts video. Thank you for stopping by and taking a few moments of your time to spend with me. Today, I'm going to be going over my Vinegar Syndrome releases. These are the releases I own that have slip covers. I was asked by a fellow a YouTube viewer and a Facebook friend of mine, Johnny Walker, which uh, if that's your real name, sir, that is an awesome name. And I don't drink anymore. I don't partake in alcoholic beverages anymore. But back in the day, I used to dabble with the Johnny Walker Scotch Red Label. And uh, that's an awesome name, by the way. He wanted to know what my top 10 Vinegar Syndrome releases are. Well, today, like I said, and you can see the title, I'm going to be going over the slipcover editions that I have, and I have 20 of them. There's quite a few that I don't have. And as you guys know, Vinegar Syndrome have been taking off quite a bit lately, and they have a very good product, and their slipcover editions tend to sell out pretty quick. So a lot of the more recent releases I've missed, either due to uh, me being slow ordering or just lack of funds at the time. So I'm going to go over my slipcover editions and show you what I have. And then I think tomorrow is when I'm going to do the top 10, my favorite top 10 Vinegar Syndrome releases. But today is just going to be going over these slipcover editions. And these are in no particular order. And I'm going to kind of go through and show you guys the reversible covers and the specs and all that stuff. So here is Jack Frost. This is one of my favorites. This slipcover is phenomenal. One of the best slipcovers out of any of my releases from any company. So that's pretty cool. It does have some special features. You can see there if you want to pause it and check it out. You get some commentary, video interviews, and that's a limited edition lenticular cover. The artwork is by Chris Garofalo, and that's a beautiful release. Here is what the Amore case looks like. And it is a two disc set. You get the DVD there on the left and the Blu-ray. And then here is the reversible cover. So basically it's just the two images there. Those are the two covers you get to choose from and then you get this awesome lenticular. But I think this is a must own if you could get it. I'm pretty sure it sold out a long time ago but I think you could probably get it on eBay and you may have to pay a little higher price but that's a good one to get. The next one is a trauma film called Deadly Daphne's Revenge. And this is a, not really a horror film, it's more like of a thriller, but it does have some horror elements to it. And the alternate title is called The Hunting Season. But here is the slip cover, we'll go over that really quick. And Vinegar Syndrome has the, I think they call it a double thick slip cover. If you can see on the inside, they kind of have like a wrap around and it makes the slipcover much more durable, very sturdy. And you can see there are these special features for this one. You get uh, interviews, you get alternate opening, isolated score, which is always cool. So you can listen to the film soundtrack without watching the film if you want to do that. You can see some of the stills. I guess I should have mentioned for Jack Frost, it is all region, ABC, as is this one all region and Jack Frost came out in 1996 Deadly Daphne's Revenge also known as The Hunting Season came out in 1990 or 1981 sorry about that and here's what the Amore case looks like this is also a DVD and Blu-ray combo and there's the alternate artwork So that is Deadly Daphne's Revenge. I guess I'll putz around with the slip covers off camera so I can kind of keep this moving. The next one is another favorite of mine. I really, not only do I like the cover, but I do like the movie. This is called Demon Wind. This one has a lenticular. Really, really nice. 
performance. So here on the back for special features, you get a newly scanned 2K. You get some interviews. You get some, uh, I thought there was an audio commentary on here, I guess not. The audio interview with uh, editor Christopher Roth. And if my, my bed is kind of shaking, my dog is in here with me, that's Hannah. And she was trying to get comfortable, so she was bouncing around a little bit, but looks like she's pretty comfortable now, so we continue. Uh, this is also a DVD Blu-ray combo. There on the left is the DVD and the Blu-ray. And there is the reversible cover. And this is a film from 1984. It is all region. I think that's great that companies do all region. I know that's it's a lot of a lot to do with the rights issues and stuff like that, but personally I think everything should be all region. But that's just the way it goes. Next one is called Terror. One step beyond horror. This is a really cool slipcover too. And so here is the Amory case. It is a film from 1978, all region. And for special features, you get a 2K scan. Extensive audio interview with the director, Norman Warren. You get brand new interviews. With some of the cast and crew, you get deleted and extended scenes and you get a reversible cover, which we will look at right now. There on the left is the DVD and there's the Blu-ray. I always appreciate it when companies have exclusive images on each the DVD and Blu-ray. It always looks a lot better. It's a little extra effort, but it pays off. It's really cool. There's a reversible cover. I mean, just, just looking at that, it's, it's really cool. I wish Disney would do a little bit more with their this art instead of just having it the powder blue color but that's a whole different uh, topic next one is blue vengeance and this one I thought I like this cover here I thought they could have probably had that image on the slip cover that's not really that great of a cover in my opinion this is a film from 1989 it is all region and it is the blu-ray DVD combo you get a 2K scan, you get commentary from the director, you get uh, commentary with some of the crew, some of the actors, you get a making of documentary, which is always cool. Okay, and then you get um, a film called The First Man in night from 1997, an unreleased surreal science fiction drama from the co-writer Danny Kachuk. And the limited edition slipcover with artwork by Derek Kabarchek. I like this image right here. That's really cool. In comparison, I mean, if you had a choice, if they could do it over, I think they should have had that as a slipcover. But so. again, we have. Uh, Separate artwork on both discs. You got the DVD on the left, the Blu-ray on the right, and there's the reverse. Let's see if I can put Deadly Daphne away because I'll do a little recap at the end. Some of these are a little bit tight, a little snug. But that's, uh, I guess that's a good thing. Okay, the next one we have here is called Grave Robbers. That's a really cool cover. Sci-fi horror type film. It is a film from 1988. It is all region. And again, it is a Blu-ray DVD combo. There's a couple special features here. You get um, a 2K scan commentary from the director. You get some interviews, a director's introduction to the film. You get the video trailer. 
and a reversible cover. And I believe most of these do have subtitles for those who are interested in watching films with subtitles, like I do. And there we have the DVD on the left, Blu-ray on the right, and there's the reverse. That's a pretty cool image right there. I was playing around a little bit, having some fun. I did a poll tonight before I started recording this video. And I wanted to thank you guys who uh, took time to vote. I thought that was pretty funny. And so far, um, baloney is winning. So I, did, I thought that was pretty funny. Here's Bloodhook. This is kind of a horror comedy in the vein of like a uh, trauma film. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one took place in Wisconsin. That's where I'm from. And it says... Um, 17 years ago, Peter's grandfather went missing under mysterious circum circumstances. Now Peter and his friends have returned to the placid Wisconsin town to check out the inherited lake house and to partake in the annual Muskie Madness fishing competition. So I thought that was pretty cool. A little shout out to Wisconsin. And the film is from 1986. It is all region. And it is a Blu-ray DVD combo. And you get the two, 2K scan hook, line, and sinker interview with the director, Jim Mallon. You get some interviews, still gallery, and English subtitles, reversible cover, limited edition slipcover. Here is the Amore case. That's pretty cool artwork. And that kind of goes back to like the VHS days. You would see covers like that. It would kind of draw you in, colorful and kind of cartoonish. And it wasn't it wasn't uncommon to see covers like this in old VHS stores. So there you have the DVD on the left and the Blu-ray. And that is also the reversible image. So I, I'm really not going to have to pull that out to show you. It's just they have uh, each cover on the DVD and Blu-ray. So I save a little time anyway. That was Bloodhook. The next one is called Disconnected, kind of a suspense horror film. And here is the slip. It is a film from 1984, all region. 2K scan, commentary, interviews, 20 questions, sh short film directed by Beckard, Q&A from the 2017 festival booklet and reversible cover so this one actually comes with the booklet we'll kind of flip through that but uh, there's the DVD and that is also the reversible art and that is the blu-ray kind of flip through the booklet really quick it's a, only a couple pages with some write-ups That's pretty cool that they throw a booklet in. And it is disconnected from 1984. The next one is a twin billing. This is called Blood Theater. And it comes with a bonus film called The Visitants. And it's the same director, Rick Sloan, who also did Hobgoblins. And Blood Theater was his first ever film release, and then Visitants was his second film, so they got both films in the set. And for the special features, you get a 2K scan, bonus film from 1987, um, Blood Theaters from 1984, and they are both all region. And where were we here? We have the commentary track on both films from the director. You have an ensemble, like a panel interview type thing with uh, cast and crew, a Q&A with uh, cast and crew, and a commentary track with the hysteria continues. 
and a limited edition slipcover, art by Chris Garofalo again. I noticed a pattern with uh, with Chris. He had also done uh, what was it, Blood Vengeance, and he kind of likes to do the the little box art in the middle, or Blue Vengeance. The other one was called not Blood Vengeance, but uh, take a look here at the two discs. You got the DVD on the left and the Blu-ray on the right. That's the reverse. So it's pretty cool that they throw in two movies on this little set. Next one is another film I happen to enjoy. This is one of the more recent pickups I got from Vinegar Syndrome. This is called Bloody New Year. Really liked it. I like both of those covers a lot. I think this cover is really, really good on the right. And I think that one's awesome too. It has a really good cover on the back. It's kind of a wraparound image. Very, very nice. And you get a couple special features here. You get the 2K scan, you get commentary track with the director, Norman J. Warren, and reversible cover. So you got the DVD on the left, Blu-ray on the right, and it's the same image on the reverse. And the next one has a couple different titles. It's called The Dead Come Home, or the title I prefer, The House on Tombstone Hill. And you get a couple special features with this one. You get a 2K scan. You get, uh, what is that, the Three Dead Dudes featurette with actors Mark Zobian, Victor Vergage, and Douglas Gibson. You get audio interview with the director. You get uh, behind the scenes still gallery reversible cover. And this is another trauma film, and it's uh, it's a pretty silly film. But you got dead dudes in the house DVD on the left, and this, the uh, other title, which I prefer, The House on Tombstone Hill, Blu-ray. And check this cover out here. This is horrible. Is that one of the worst covers you've ever seen before for a horror film? I know it's a trauma film, so it's a horror comedy, but I mean, it is just awful. I think part of the appeal to having great covers, back in the VHS days, it's sometimes the covers were, a lot of times the covers were better than the movies, and that was a very strong selling point to have a cover that stood out. Like this cover here, this is called The Undertaker with Joe Spinell, and it comes in this, um, like a blood coffin style slip cover. It's really, really cool. You got the bloody handprint on the back. And then you got the uh, Amory case here with special features, 2K scan, commentary track, director introduction, outtakes. There's a booklet that comes with this one as well. And this is a film from 1988. It is all region. I'll take a look at the book in a second. There is the DVD and the Blu-ray. And then on the back you just have kind of a panoramic image of a scene from the film. There's Joe Spinell right there. Really cool. Take a look at the booklet really quick. A couple pages, but uh, again, I always enjoy when they throw a little booklet in. So that is Joe Spinell, The Undertaker. And then when you slide the Amory case in, I know this one's very, very tight, but there you have the image of Joe Spinell as the undertaker in the middle of the coffin. Let's see if I can put Bloody New Year back on. I was having a little issue with that one. There we go. So here is a film that Scorpion Releasing had put out on DVD few years back, several years back now, and this is called Double Exposure. And this is the Blu-ray upgrade to that. There you have the slipcover. Again, I'm, this is not one of my favorite covers. 
This is the old school cover. This is the cover that Scorpion used. I think that is the original VHS cover. And I gotta be careful because this movie does have some nudity and I think there's a little panel on the bottom here that has kind of a risque image. So I'm gonna kind of avoid that. But we have a 2K scan, commentary track with the director, interviews, isolated score again, reversible cover by Derek Gabarczyk. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's probably wrong. This is a film from 1982 and it is all region. So there is the DVD and Blu-ray. Okay, we're about halfway done, I think. Or pretty close to it. Keep moving along here. Here's one that I really enjoyed. This one is called Psycho Cop Returns, also known as Psycho Cop 2. And it is sort of like a maniac cop type film. I, I enjoyed it. Kind of a suspense horror film. Horror elements in it. And this is a I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it's kind of a glossy, almost a metallic -y type cover to kind of show the badge number 666. It's a really cool image. And I even like that cover. It's kind of a retro style cover. I like that image. And you get 2K scan commentary track with Adam Rifkin, who is the director. You get a 43 minute documentary making of. And you get brand new interviews with cast and crew. And you get the Victims of Vickers featurette. And reversible cover by Chris Garofalo again. So this is a Chris Garofalo cover right here. And there you have the DVD on the left and the Blu-ray on the right. Really, really nice addition. Great movie. I wouldn't say great movie, fun movie, put it that way. This is, this is definitely one to check out if you guys haven't checked this one out yet. I, I would recommend picking this one up and giving it a watch. The next one is called Blood Beat. So that's, that's a cover for you right there. It looks really good. This is a film from 1982. It is all region. This is a 4K scan. A commentary track with the writer director video interviews you get um, blood beat the silent version 28 minutes um, you get stills gallery and the slip cover is designed by Earl Kessler that's a pretty cool cover I really like that and then here is the I'm assuming this is the original cover I don't recall this one from back in the day but there you have the DVD and the Blu-ray and the next one is another cool cover I think the cover is a little bit better than the movie to be honest but the movie was okay this is called the house of the dead I think that is one hell of a cover, actually. That's really cool. And this is a movie from 1978. It is all region. And you get a couple special features here. You get a 2K scan. You get an interview with the director. You also get an interview with the screenwriter. And you get the limited edition slipcover artwork by Earl Kessler, which is really good. Earl Kessler did a hell of a job on that one. Here is the Amory case. And it had an alternate title. Um, I think I had a problem with this one last time too. I couldn't remember if this was also known as Alien Zone. Um, and then there's the Blu-ray and there's the reversible cover I know this was an anthology but I couldn't remember if they snuck in a, a free movie I don't think they did I think it's just the alternate title so yeah it was um, also known as Alien Zone or House of the Dead And the next 
next one is a horror movie involving children. And it's not one of my favorite genres, but it's a cool release and it's a pretty decent movie. It's called The Children. So there we have the special features. This is a film from 1980. It is all region. Running time, 93 minutes. And there's quite a few special features here. You get a 2K scan, a new audio commentary with the director, archival audio commentary with the co-producer, co-writer, uh, childhood memories making of. It's uh, Return to Raven's Back, a newly produced locations then and now. Those are always fun to watch. There's a lost scene, archival interviews, memories, archival featurette, making of, and uh, reversible cover. It doesn't say who the artist was for this one. And so there you have the DVD and Blu-ray. Next one is kind of an, this is a Russian film, I believe. And this is a action film, it has nothing to do with horror. This was a hard ticket to get, I missed it initially. And uh, sometimes Vinegar Syndrome, well, not sometimes, quite a few, qu quite often they sell out really quick. And if you're not quick, if you're on the fence and you don't pull a trigger quick enough, it will sell out and it'll leave you empty handed. But sometimes people have problems processing their credit card payment or they just um, return it or whatever and vinegar syndrome will re-offer a few pieces that they you know they got back or whatever if they find a couple that they didn't sell what have you i got lucky and i got one that was uh not sold out so and this is a, a russian film from 1992 it is all region and you do get some special features here a 2k scan you get both the Russian language version and the slightly extended English version. You get producing of video interview, shooting for the, from the hip, a featurette, original trailer, promotional still gallery, and limited edition slipcover. They're calling it an O card. And you get it in English or Russian subtitles, which is pretty cool. So this is Red Mob. Really cool slipcover. And there you have the uh, Blu-ray on the left this time and the DVD on the right. I, I popped this one in when I first got it and it was, uh, it was a pretty decent watch. I'm more of a horror fan guy. Um, I don't really watch too many action movies these days, and I don't really watch too many comedies. Um, it was okay. This one I enjoyed. This is The Hearse. And this one also has a really cool slipcover here. This is a film from 1980. It is 99 minutes, and it is all region. And this one stars uh, a young Trish Vandeveer, who looked really, really good in this movie. She looked phenomenal. She had a really, really sexy body. And you get the 2K scan. Satan Get Behind Thee, the interview with the lead actor. Um, you get an original theatrical trailer, TV spot, promotional still gallery, reversible cover, and subtitles. It's a good little ghost story, good little ghost movie. I had fun with it. And there you have the DVD on the left and the Blu-ray. Trish Vandeveer was uh, George C. Scott's wife. And I got one more. And this one is called Liquid Sky. And this one has quite a few special features. It's a film from 1982. Uh, this movie was weird to me. It was like a psychedelic here. I'll show you some stills here. Very bizarre, very weird film. 
all region, Blu-ray, DVD, 112 minutes. And you get the 4K scan of it, commentary track, interviews, look at that. I mean, you get Q&A from the 2017 Alamo Draft House, Yonkers screening, isolated soundtrack, never before seen outtakes, alternate opening sequence, many theatrical trailers, still gallery booklet, and reversible cover. Here's the Amory case. This is the last one, by the way. This one also comes with a booklet. So you got the DVD on the left, Blu-ray on the right, and that's the reverse. And we'll flip through the booklet and I'll do a little recap at the end and we'll call it a night. Some good write-ups about the film. So Johnny, if you're watching, I hope this helped you a little bit. If um, I'll still do a top 10. I'll do that probably tomorrow. And uh, I'll include some of the Amore cases too. But this will kind of give you at least a start so you can kind of know what you're looking for. Um, have you guys been having a... Have you guys been getting notified when I upload a video? Because some people have been saying that they have not been getting notified, which kind of sucks. I know YouTube is kind of funny sometimes. They have a lot of technical problems when it comes to that kind of stuff. So if um, if you guys are having problems, um, try hitting the bell. Maybe that'll work if you guys want to be notified as soon as I upload a video. But here is a quick recap. We have The Children, House of the Dead, The Hearse, Red Mob, Liquid Sky, The Dead Come Home, Blood Theater, Deadly Daphne's Revenge, Blood Beat, Psycho Cop Returns, Psycho Cop 2, Deadly Exposure, Bloody New Year, The Undertaker, Disconnected, Blue Vengeance, Jack Frost with that lenticular, Grave Robbers, Blood Hook, Terror, and Demon Wind. So thank you guys for joining me for the video. If you have any questions or comments, you can always put those down below. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to subscribe, please do so, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I upload. And stay tuned for my top 10 Vinegar Syndrome films, which I'll probably record tomorrow. So take care guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time, later.